Pope Francis is again pleading for peace in the Middle East as Israel readies a ground assault. Americans are beginning to come home, and that includes some Catholics who are away on pilgrimage. Currents News' Katie Vasquez has the story. It's a pilgrimage Sue Thompson has been waiting on for a year. It was just so amazing. Every day was something that you know, you read about in scripture. Nine days traveling in the Holy Land, seeing the path of Jesus's life from the very beginning. It was so beautiful. We went down to the spot, you know, where Mary lived, where the angel Gabriel spoke to her. But halfway through Sue's trip, her journey to deepen her faith took a turn for the worse. She, along with more than 60 other parishioners from St. Patrick's Church in Sarasota, Florida, were preparing for mass in Bethlehem when Hamas launched its attack on Israel. I think everybody kind of realized that you know, there was something very different happening. It was obvious the sounds of bombing outside and the missiles. It was at that point their tour guide, Fabrizio Lomanto, decided to cut the pilgrim's trip short. Folks, we have no choice. It's choice A or choice A. Leave the country. You have one new message. Peter's Way Tours, which organized the pilgrimage, coordinated the safe evacuation of the pilgrims out of Israel. We knew that the T Tel Aviv airport was closed, no flight coming in and out. So we knew we have to do something uh, in, in order to get them through Jordan. Safety. Uh, for us is a priority. As a precaution, Peter's Way has canceled all trips, 14 in total, through the end of the year and could potentially cancel more. We need to give it for another two or three weeks or maybe one month to make a decision. But yes, there is a concern right now to travel anywhere. Peter's Way says they have contacted all group leaders about their canceled tours. Anyone with questions about their pilgrimage to the Holy Land should call their parish. In Melville, Katie Vasquez, Currents News. Over in Gaza, nearly half of their population has been displaced. More than two million people have been forced out of their homes because of the raging war, and they don't really have anywhere to run to. Movement in and out of the Gaza Strip is being closely controlled by Israel. Two checkpoints are closed. The only other one is into Egypt, but Egyptian authorities have it shut, saying they won't open it until the bombings stop. Brooklyn's Bishop Robert Brennan spoke about the cruelty of the Hamas attack on his podcast, Big City Catholics. The inhumanity of what happened. I mean, imagine, well, remember what happened here on September 11th, and that, that was terrible. So you imagine a building going down, which would be horrible enough, but then to go door to door. Imagine that after the Twin Towers went down, you had other people who would go door to door and just indiscriminately execute people or take people hostage. Or you hear about that music event. You know, it breaks any convention of war. It breaks any sense of human dignity. Bishop Brennan also pointed out many New Yorkers have connections and family in Israel and said he's praying for the Jewish communities here. You can listen to the full episode of Bishop Brennan's podcast, Big City Catholics, at podcast.dioceseofbrooklyn.org or search for Big City Catholics on Spotify and Apple Podcasts. Speaking of prayer, there will be a day of that and fasting for peace in the Holy Land on Tuesday. To stay up to date on all things in the Israel-Hamas war, tune in to Currents News and the Tablet, both online and on social media. A Queens Parish and the NYPD teamed up on Thursday to help moms in need in one of New York's poorest neighborhoods. One, eight. Cuatro, cinco, ocho, cinco. That's you. This community baby shower at St. Bartholomew Catholic Academy in Elmhurst gave away strollers, baby clothes, diapers, and more. It was started in 2021 when detectives were looking for a way to help struggling parents, and it has helped nearly 4,500 moms since. I feel like if you're able to like create a life, then you should be able to like, you know, love it with your whole heart, even though if you're not in the best economic status, there is people that will help you. I feel like this definitely helps mom feel more confident that they do not have to, just because they are not prepared for a baby, they do not have to abort it. There's all types of resources to help you along your way. The event also offers help with health insurance and food assistance. 
Finally tonight, in honor of the close of Hispanic Heritage Month, we take a look to the future. Latino and Hispanic youth were once considered the life of the church, but now nationally their numbers are falling off. Yet in the Diocese of Brooklyn, something different is happening. Current News' Jessica Easthope has more on the group of young people being called to Christ. Here's a statistic that's disturbing church leaders. Half of young Latinos living in the United States don't affiliate with any religion. Gilbert Perez Maranta says hearing those results from a Pew Research survey tells him a lot of his peers aren't as lucky as he is. They haven't experienced the same love. They are looking for something to fill out their emptiness that they have in their heart. Studies show American-born Latinos are leaving the church. About one in five who were raised Catholic no longer identify as such. Gilbert is a sacristan and altar server at Blessed Sacrament Church in Cypress Hills and one of 40 new members of Jornada de Vida Cristiana. Of those who are plain in heart. Jornada for short is a Hispanic ministry in the Diocese of Brooklyn that brings teens and adults together for retreats and faith-building reflection that go on to define their lives. President Felix Perez says in Hornada, you don't go to a retreat, you live it. But we say we lived it because that's now a part of us. I learned a whole bunch of tools about how to make my relationship with God better, how to make my relationship with others better, and how to actually serve. For members of the movement or Hornadistas, faith isn't quiet. Sarah Pena lives hers out loud. And God gave me this gift to sing, and I got to give him all the credit, so in return, I sing for him. Though the church continues to explore new ways to bring young people to Christ, at Hornada, the focus isn't on the future, but the present. The diocese has seen that the youth is not the future of the church. The youth is now. And because of it, our kids can thrive. Some teens and young adults are worried about being cool or getting a text back but not them. My life without Jesus will be lacking and not cool because Jesus is the coolest person that I know. Hornada's mission is ever expanding to meet youth where they are. Their message is delivered in a very personal way. God loves you and he will never leave you alone. They say Christ has always been there. Your time is now. In Cypress Hills, Jessica East Hope, Currents News. That is this current news update. I'm Christine Persichetti. Thank you for joining us because we are putting your faith in the news. Hope to see you again next time.